nightmare can take so many forms. The snow, broken bridges, all of it. I know. You always wonder, was this caused by nature or by the ghost? Won't be going this way. This country needs better bridges, or it will come to nothing. <sighs> These will be the Harrows. An imaginative name. There's a ring to it. Don't just stand there. Move! Spectres have gathered around. Why not force them to appear? Unveil yourself! This isn't over yet! Back up! Thank <laughs> you. 
Ready and waiting. This one's protected. Over there, a dock. An underground landing. Interesting. I wonder what was landed here all that time ago. Something illicit, no doubt. Possesses the corpse. I'm right here, you know. Red, come and look. Do you know this sign? Still impressive. Red, come and look. 
Do you know this sign? Company of 100 Associates. I, I believe it was a new French trading company, before you or I were born. The cave has been abandoned for a while then. Aye. Uh, it was probably a French smuggler's den. Ceridian's Island is a pleasant place, but you'd never know it from here. Better to keep it that way, eh? For everyone's sake.
more fuck. We stay in there. Reinforcements. Move it. I'm right here, you know. Nightmare has influence here. We should be careful. No matter the bridge, we can cross it. You sense an angry big fella too. I summon it. The landscape here is more pleasant. There are fields and pastures and better weather. Can you feel the warmer air? I don't feel it, not really. But I know it's there. If I focus, I can still see the beauty of the world. I'd be tempted to think the warmer air means a warmer welcome. I suspect I'll be wrong. Trust that instinct, young apprentice, for it will serve you well. I'm under threat. You're done.
brain. Suddenly, I can't manifest. That's not good. Something magic hinders me. Sorry, not this time. I am warded. I cannot. I'm still hindered. There must be another ward nearby. These wards look fairly new. A witch? Doesn't look like Seeker or Ceridian's work. Let's be careful. There might be a way to open this door from the other side. What now? I can't help you from here. I'll deal with it quickly. I can't help you. Red, I can't manifest anymore.
Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. Beware. Wards. Now this requires a key. I can manifest now. What in the... There's a ship here. Incredible. 
beautiful too. Ghost wards cannot manifest. Another in sight. Not now. I feel something close. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. Much better. Yes, something's here. One more walk through the void. Bridges up. Wonder why. To keep folk in, or to keep something out. Something's nearby. Where is it?
Is it just me or? I felt it too. The village is full of ghost wards. They're afraid of something. Leave them up. Cause no trouble. Anyone home? Where did they go? The well, recently sealed. Below, it feels... off. Smells off, too. find the key to open this.
Our trust in him be as Goliath's arm. Six hundred weight of brass, and as his eye stuffed with a weaver's beam. And yea, though I do repeat myself, tis a sermon that bear friends find fortitude in our success. Exiled from our homes by the devil's machinations. We congregate before the Lord in this new meeting house. We gather, we worship, we overcome. And we shall be well protected by the holy ward my son now makes under my instruction. For I have spent hours countless in your service, pouring through books and papers, devouring the oeuvre of my peers, that our meeting house be safe. Fairfax Haskell, for whom the word pompous was invented. Half built? Yes. Open to the four winds? Yes. But already it is resplendent with our faith. A shining reminder of our renewed belief in better days. McCraith, Mr. McCraith. <laughs> I thought you. I thought you. What happy portent, what most excellent news. What blessings. I applaud your valorous deeds, O oh, fate, I say. Dead, sir, I thought you dead. Maybe I am. Do not make light of such matters, my friend, for the devil's wrath is wide awake, and his claw scratches at our door, metaphorically speaking. I'm alive. I promise. My friends, I shall deliver this sermon another time. The battle with the Devil's Legion is ongoing, and Mr. McCraith and I have much to discuss. Thank you, Lammy. Behold this miracle of ours, Mr. McCraith. Exiled we, yet in our darkest hour, we find the moral vigor to build this humble monument to resilience. But you and I must speak of darker matters. For we, erudite men of higher learning, know that evil yet walks. There is much work to be done. Indeed there is. Yes, yes. Forgive the inelegance of my welcome. You are alone. Do I surmise that Miss Duarte is no more? I'd rather not talk about it. Blessed is the man in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. I'm so sorry for your loss. Grief is a journey, long and painful. But you do not walk the road alone, I promise you. Oh, I know. I know. In time, God healed my wounds. May you two find peace. Now, I regret that even at this most burdensome time for you, I must move with haste to business and beg once more for your help. What's going on? It must be serious if you're asking for my help. Since your defeat at the meeting house, the devil, heartened 
an emboldened, goes from strength to strength. He insinuates himself among my people, reveling in the suffering of the disease he unleashes upon us. It pits one against the other. Suspicion tears this community apart once again. All this to weaken my people and lead them away from the light of God. In times of disease, you need doctors, and I'm no doctor. We'll not treat the symptoms, we'll tear out the root. An agent of the devil walks among us. A witch? You must find her, or him, as it may be. You and I share great expertise, but I'm a man of position. Well, you, sir, are much more familiar with field work. Go, meet my people, walk amongst them. Learn which of them secretly serves the demon, that we may expunge this evil malady from our body politic. What makes you think there is a witch at work here? Aye, sir, I'm a man of God and intellect. I can read the signs. When a so-called mystery disease afflicts half of my people overnight, there can be only one culprit. It is the devil's doing, sir. Probably through one of his servants. For you see, I understood immediately that the water in the well had been tainted. There are no strangers here. You could self-accept it. No one has fled. The guilty woman, nor man, I suppose, remains within the village. As evil walks, the evil are emboldened, but this witch shall see her downfall. Or his, of course. As did the last one, as will the next. Some years ago, you may have heard tell of this, I made my name on the execution of a terrible witch. It pains me that I must do it once more. I am no witch hunter. My business is with the lingering dead. For a fee, yes, I know. But you can't deny evil practitioners exist. A few years ago, I had to cleanse this community from such a threat. Why would she curse your colony? Why would anyone choose to separate from God's flock? I'm afraid some just want to see the world burn, Mr. McCraith. By the grace and charity of the good Lord, she was exposed. It was my honor to serve him in sending her to hell where she belonged. Her mask was a good one, as if butter would not melt upon her tongue. But you cannot fool a man of faith and intellect. No, sir, you cannot. You'll not mind me saying it, but for a Puritan paradise, you seem to get more than your fair share of witches. God has not forsaken us, but someone here does the devil's work. Find me a witch, Mr. McCraith. Return this place to the Lord. I'm a working man, Governor, but the Lord does seem happy to pay, so I'll do what I can. I'll take my leave of you, Governor. Of course. Outside, you must take the stairs. While you're with us, the first house on the left shall be your home. Another witch hunt. That just tells me he's hiding something. Mind you, I'd like to know what's causing the sickness. A real life, actual banisher here in the Harrows. Ghost Ward. I think you can safely knock it over. I'm at your side again. It is our honor you're here, sir. You're the governor's son, right? I... Uh, yes, sir. Lamentation Haskell. Friends call me Lammy. 
or that would if I had any. Please, call me Lammy. I have so many questions, sir. So many questions. But I suspect this is not the time. No, not the time. But perhaps you may help me anyway. Me? Why, if I can help, I'd be honoured. Your father believes there is a Harrow's Witch. Have you noticed anyone acting strange? I... I'd answer, sir, I surely would, only things being as they are, everyone is acting strange. A curse brought illness, illness brought division, division has led to strife. We could do with some healing, sir, we could. We need you to bring us peace. Good day to you, Lammy. Good day to you, sir.